Before we get started on today's lesson, we're going to watch this video. Mishka, I, I love you. you. I, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Good girl. I love you. 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 Good girl. I love you. Say I love you. Oh, that's so cute. Isn't it cool that even animals believe in speaking out? When they sense danger, they usually bark. Or when they want food, they make cute singing noises. So speaking out is actually really important. And today, we're going to learn more about it. So today we're talking about speaking out and speaking life and what that actually means. Because many, many years ago, Jesus went to the cross for us and he had a perfect finished work where he took our sickness, our sin, our struggles and our condemnation to the cross with him. And But sometimes we still struggle with those things today. We still struggle with sickness, we struggle with our sin and sometimes our condemnation. And that's where speaking life is so important because it's about speaking the word of God into our lives. So how does speaking life help us? It actually helps us actually apply the word of God. So let's go look at a story of Jesus in the actual Bible. Because for 40 days and 40 nights, he was in the desert with no food and no water and it was a really tough time, but not for him because he's absolutely amazing. But during this time, he, he was actually tempted by the devil but he didn't just ignore the devil like we sometimes ignore our problems. And he didn't just think and think and think about them. He actually spoke the word of God to him three times. Each time the devil came to him with a problem, he spoke the word. So Jesus didn't just think about things, he chose to speak. So remember, our words have power and we actually need to speak them out. It's super important. So speaking life is actually about applying the finished work of Jesus because Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And so he died to give us that life. So when we speak the word of Jesus, when we speak his finished work, we're actually declaring what he's already said to us over our lives and over those that are around us, like our friends and our family. So we can speak things like, Jesus has made me the top and not the bottom. He's made me the head and not the tail. And he's made me righteous. He's made me accepted, loved, whole, healed, without sickness, with wisdom and goodness in my life, and so much more. So don't be afraid to speak those powerful words over your life and over people around you, because they are going to be an amazing change. Just like God created the world and everything in it with His words, we can speak powerful words into our lives, and we can see more and more of the finished work of Jesus do amazing things in our lives. Our words have so much power, so let's choose to speak out. Thank you, Jesus. Time. I'ma be up in here having some god time And you're good in the genuine Like illumination, illumination You light up my life like you lit up creation Won't let me drown, you're my flotation Won't let me thirst, cause you're my hydration So I'ma do a dance in your arms This love is gonna last in your arms You're everything to me, everything I need, everything I wanna be JC Got me like, oh
God thinks so highly of each and every one of His children. You are perfect to Him and He would love it if you want to be part of His family. And if you do want to be part of His family, say this prayer with me. Dear Jesus, thank you that you love me with all of my flaws. Thank you that you have given me heavenly authority and thank you that you've given me the words to speak out. I want to be part of your family. I give you my heart now and forever. Amen. Okay kids, let's do communion together. This is the bread and this is the wine, this special communion we combine. His blood has washed us white as snow, his body was broken, all sickness must go. I believe it's for me, for you, for all, his love picks us up whenever we fall. Remember the cross and all that you've done, Jesus our Saviour, God's precious Son. guys, we're playing another speaking game and this week we're playing Mumbo Jumbo part 2 and Annie is going to be the one trying to tell us what she's saying and we're going to be the ones that are trying to guess. Yes. Okay. Let's go. You guys ready? Yes. The honey phone phone. The telephone. Phone. No, the funny. The funny. Phony. Phony. Phone. 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 There you go. The funny phony phone. Powerful for security. Powerful Fist of Fury. Yes. Oh. Want some mushrooms? Want some mushrooms? <laughs> Want some mushrooms? Once. Want? Want? Some? Some mushrooms. Want some mushrooms? No. Raw? Raw? S'mores. S'mores. Yes. Oh, okay. A blue moonlit font. A blue <laughs> moonlit font. Pond. Blue. Yes. Mm. <laughs> there you go. Angie wins. <laughs> she got like Yay. three. So Angie got like all of them and I got like none of them. <laughs> so well done to Angie. Cool. <laughs> well done. Woo, Angie. Today we learned that Jesus wants us to speak out and use our words just like he did. Yes, and I encourage you to use your words as swords to cut through all the troubles of your day. And remember, if, if it's, it's not good, good it's, it's not from God. God. Bye! Our words have so much power, so let's choose to use them today. Thank you, Jesus. That was probably out of breath. And remember, if, if it's, it's not, not good, it's not from God. <laughs> Can we just do that? Can we just from remember? <laughs> <laughs>